What am I playing at? Now, <laughs> now, we like to highlight the work that people do who want to make a difference right here across Shropshire. And food banks are essential right now, and donations really help and support the people who need them. Now, a market Drayton business has raised over two thousand pounds to be donated to the local food bank ava dave runs style optique who is based in town and joins me now hello lovely i hope you're well hello i'm very well thank you thank Good. you for inviting me on well thank you for taking the time to come and have a little chin wag with me this morning that's so, absolutely fine so tell me what made you think of doing this in the first place well, um, I think, first of all, it's really important that local businesses help. I think they're quite vital, really, in helping the running of food banks and mm. things like that. Um, we know that sort of around Christmas time, food banks do get a lot of help. People are sort of more aware of it. And I just sort of thought January, February, March, yeah, really quiet months very often for food banks. People, you know, after the Christmas rush, people tend not to think so much about it. So I really felt like we wanted to do something. Mm. Um so, and, and also raise awareness about eye tests as well. So we kind of tied the two things in. So we donated um, sight test fees in the month of January towards the food bank. So we're sort of, you know, killing two birds with one stone, if you like, really yeah. encouraging people to have their eyes tested and think about their eye health, as well as helping the, the food bank and, you know, it, the people in the local area. So how did you raise the money then? Well, we donated all private site test fees um, wow. uh, throughout the whole of January. Yeah. That's amazing. That is amazing. Like, Thank you. Uh, it's so nice to... It's, I, always, I, like, I always say it's so nice to hear about good people doing good things. And it's not like this is something that you have to do. You've chosen to do it because, well, clearly yeah. you're a good person. Do you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> You're a good you. person. And it's so lovely to hear about things like this because the the difference of a month to you will make probably maybe two months difference to some to that food bank. And it's yeah. so it must it must feel good knowing that you've made that difference. Yeah, it does, but you always feel like you could do more, don't yeah. you? Like um there's always something that you want to do. And I know, you know, I was talking to Helen at the at the food bank and they're saying that the numbers of people that are needing help are really increasing at the moment. And I think mm. that is due to the rise in energy and, you know, general cost of, of living price. Um and, but, you know, if it's anybody out there does want to make a donation to them, all details are on their website at the market rate in foodbank.org.co.uk. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So what did your clients then, you know, when they heard about what you were doing, what did they think? Well, I think, I mean, we've got some fantastic clients and I, I just think they were... I think it incentivized some of them to come and have their eyes tested in January. They may, oh. you know, rather than February or March and things like that. So they did go, yeah, I'll get my eyes done now because they knew that fee was going to be donated to the food bank. And a lot of our clients do help the food bank anyway. So, I mean, we've got some really, really good clients. So, yeah, they were they were really helpful, really. So it was thanks to their support that we were able to donate what we did that's so lovely especially like you just said you know you think that some of them actually thought you know what i'm going to go specifically in january yeah, because yeah. january as a whole you know regardless of what is going on right now with the cost of living yeah. crisis and all that kind of thing january you've just had christmas nobody yeah. is trying to spend money in january so to think yeah. that people actively thought do you know what i'm going to go out my way to go and get my eyes tested this month just so that I can be part of, you know, this project of raising the money for the food bank. I think that's so heartwarming to hear. Thank you. That's all right. That is absolutely all right. Thank you. So do do you know how the food bank will now put the money to good use? What, do, what are they going to use it for? Obviously, to serve food. But, you know, how will they use that money? I think there's a number of ways that they really use the money. One is to kind of uh, market, but the other is to... to buy food um for the local people absolutely absolutely so tell me i mean i'm i i, I figured out what you do 
uh -huh. what your business is. Yeah. But tell us a little bit about your business for maybe somebody who's just turned on the radio right now. Okay, well, I would say we are an opticians with a difference. Um, our aim really is to make sort of wearing glasses and a visit to the opticians fun. Um, so we want to incentivize people to come for their eye tests. So we try and make the whole experience, you know, a little bit different. If you look at some of our reviews, it's not like coming to your normal opticians. We want people to, you know, have it on their calendar as somewhere exciting to come to. And a big part of what we do is helping people look good and feel good in their glasses because so many people out there don't like wearing glasses. It makes them feel old. It makes them feel unfashionable. It makes them feel you know not very confident so we wanted to really change all of that so I'm an optometrist I do test eyes but I also trained as an image consultant so we kind of tie both of those in um so yes yeah, so I you know analyze color and face shape and a big thing is people's personality because we want them to have a pair of glasses that they put on each day and they look in the mirror and they feel great in and hopefully that will also encourage them to come to their opticians more to come to us more regularly and take care of their eye health too where have you been all my life Ava? I will. where have you been where all my life where have you been I am blind as a bat, okay? <laughs> I, if I take my glasses off, where? Where am I? Who am yeah. I? Like, I, I think my brain stops seeing when exactly. I take can't, my glasses off. You can't off. think, can you, when you haven't got your glasses on? <laughs> no, I'm also one of them people that turns the music off so I can see better when I'm in the car. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I, I used to hate going to get my eyes tested. I, yeah. It was something I dreaded because, A, when I was younger, that machine, okay, so you know the one... Bear. Yeah, yeah, I you know. know. The, and then they go, and they blow, yeah. they blow like a little thing in your eye, and it's like, ah, yeah. do you know what I mean? It used to scare yeah. the living daylights out of me. And honestly, I, as I've gotten older, I've kind of realised, no, I have to go sort your life yeah. out. Like, you can't just be out here walking around senseless. <laughs> okay, you can't, yeah. you can't be doing that. But the experience that you've just described at your opticians sounds like something I needed right twenty years ago. Yeah, <laughs> we try and make it so relaxing because exactly what you've just said. People, some people have a, a dread of going to the opticians, yeah, and it's that like the dentist. Their test can be one of those big dreads really but actually there are ways to do that test now which is a lot let's say softer and 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 uh, easier um so it doesn't have to be quite that stressful experience but yeah we know lots of people feel that way um which is why we, i want to make a trip to the opticians you know fun and relaxing Ava, I will, I will be seeing you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I will be seeing you. Now, just before I let you go, if anyone listening right now does want to donate, can you just remind us of where they can do that for the food bank? Yes, all the details are on their website, which is marketdrayton.foodbank.org.uk. Fabulous stuff. Ava, thank you so much for taking the time to come and have a chat with me this afternoon. It's been an absolute pleasure. The lovely Ava Dave there, who runs Style Optique based in the town of Market Drayton. I mean, how fabulous. How fabulous. If you want to go and get your eyes tested, <laughs> beat me to it because I'm on my way. Mm -hmm.